So you're thinking about adding value to your home, but you only got around a thousand bucks to spend. I'm gonna give you five things that you should be trying to do with that thousand dollars to maximize your ROI. So you wanna add some value to your home and you've only got $1,000 to spend. Today I am giving you five things that you should be thinking about to get the best bang for your buck. Project number one is going to be around the front door. We hear it all the time. First impressions are everything and the front door is going to be that thing that realtors and potential buyers are gonna see as soon as they approach your property. For around that $1,000, you can either outright change your front door or grab a bucket of paint and throw a fresh coat on there. Method number two is going to be around flooring. I feel like I talk about flooring in every video in some capacity. If you have wall-to-wall -wall carpet or linoleum, those are our dated tools that we don't really see that much of anymore. There are definitely some modern carpets that are being put into new builds. Some people really like it still, but if you have an older style carpet and an older style linoleum, there are so many cost-efficient alternatives right now that you can't overlook it. Point number two would be to talk to a local flooring company and see what they're able to do for you for around a thousand bucks. The third thing that you can be updating are brass fixtures. Now back in the 80s, brass fixtures were everywhere. You would see it in the hardware on cabinetry, every spout and faucet would be made of it. There are many cleaner and more modern materials that you can be using when it comes to the fixtures throughout your house. So let's be honest, it's time for an upgrade on those. When you're looking at replacing fixtures, faucet spouts, make sure they're consistent and go with something newer, go with something more modern, go with a brush nickel or even a white or black are very common if it fits the style of that home. Point number four, is one that I think gets overlooked a lot. Just like the brass in point three, your light fixtures, if they're from the 70s or 80s and you start looking around at how those compare to modern homes, things that are being built right now, the, the styles have changed pretty drastically. And one of my biggest pet peeves when I go through showing properties are when people have light fixtures that do not go at all with the lamps that they may have throughout the house, especially if they're not using the same light bulbs throughout the house. So set aside a couple hundred bucks to look for new light fixtures that can go into the ceiling and consistent lamps that can be laid throughout your living spaces or bedrooms. Now the last point is one that I talk about quite a bit. And that's just about cleanliness. You'd be amazed at what you can accomplish by picking up a power washer for a hundred bucks a day and spraying down your siding and your decks and your walkways. That kind of stuff can really make your home feel fresh and new. So there you have it. You've got a thousand bucks to spend. These are a handful of options that you have. Each is going to help increase the value of your home. Each are gonna give you a great ROI. So clean up your front door. Get rid of that old carpet, old laminate, and redo some flooring. Get rid of old, outdated brass fixtures. Take a look around and check out your light fixtures. Make sure they're in the 21st century and make sure that your light fixtures go well with your lamps and accessory lighting throughout your house. Do a deep clean, including power washing decks, siding, driveway, walkways, and a clean inside your house can also do a lot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again this week. I will see you next Friday.